What is going on people? Welcome back to another video. And today I have a video that I think some of you will find extremely helpful. Are you one of those people that wishes they could record their UHF transmissions onto a GoPro or an action camera? Or do you race cars and wish you could record your communications between the pits and the car onto your GoPro so you can review it for later? If that's you, I've got a little treat for you today. I'm gonna to show you how I do it and record transmissions like this onto my footage and get it up onto uh, my videos. So, let's get to it. All right, if you are new here, this is my Hyundai XL. I've been building this for the what, last three years now and I've just started racing. I've done one race meet, one practice day and this weekend I am taking it out to a race meet for its second outing. Now. One thing that I've really liked doing is putting um, my radio communications onto my video. And a few people have asked me exactly how I do that. Well, first, we'll show you the interior of the car. Now, a few videos ago, I built my own in-car loom for my radio. It's op operated off paddle shifters on that side. And my GoPro usually mounts just here. Um, if you look down here, we have a little... Um, two-way radio UHF that has been programmed for Australian channels now this thing It's only a little cheap thing off eBay But that is all you need to make this work plus a few other cables, which I'll show you in a second um, To program this there is a special way you're doing it, it is a Baofeng um, radio um, It's about $50 off eBay you will need a special programming cable, which is about $10 and I found the actual programming software for $3 on eBay so, what do you need to make this all work so you can record your radio communications on top of your GoPro footage? Well, just check it out now. Okay, to start with, we have a roll cage mount with a GoPro cage on there. This is a, just a Ulanzi one I think I picked up off eBay or Amazon. Um, inside there, there is an adapter there for an audio input for a microphone, and then that plugs into the GoPro. Um, it just slides in, cable comes out the other side and then plugs straight into the side of your GoPro right there. So, GoPro Hero 7 Black, that's what I run in the car. Seems to work for me, it's really, really good. The other thing I have is, I actually bought this for when I started doing my videos and I run it in the car. It's just a Rode, um, I think a wireless Go microphone. Um, I'll explain why I use that as well. Um, it's been really effective. The other thing you'll need is a stereo breakout cable. Now you may ask, why do I need a stereo breakout cable? Um, first thing, a stereo, you can get a stereo splitter, but that will essentially take both the audio from your microphone and the radio and put it into one single audio file on your video. I run the breakout cable, it will separate it into a left and a right. So when I go into post and do all my video editing there, I can then separate the microphone and then separate the radio communication into two separate things and I can edit both of them so the audio is fine. Um, if there's any audio that I don't want on the video for some unknown reason th through the UHF channel, I can edit that out and still have my audio from the microphone. If I was to run a stereo, just a wire splitter cable, if I was to edit to get rid of something on the radio, it would also take out the noise from the car through the microphone. Next thing, just one of these, uh, these little cables here. Um, this is essentially a stereo splitter. Um, it will, the reason why I got that is I just needed this cable here. Um, this is a three and a half mil to two and a half mil um, stereo jack. Now, the reason why we got a two and a half mil stereo jack is because that is the audio on all Baofeng and Kenwood radios. So if you have an, a Baofeng or a Kenwood radio, it, the smaller um, jack that goes in is the audio. Um, I then connect that up to 
right there. Then that sends that. Um, I just need a, a stereo extension cable, which is what this is to run from the radio to the GoPro. So that's that. This will then plug into the GoPro. We'll have, I run the jack here for the microphone into the red, the end of the black one into the black, like so. Plug that in. That then plugs into the radio. This goes in like so. If I can get it all with one hand, like that. This one goes in there. All with one hand. Like that. That goes in the radio and that will transmit all your radio communications to your GoPro. And the microphone will pick up all the in-car sounds, engines, all the stuff going around and put it on the video as well. Your vision is still recorded through the GoPro, but you are able to communicate, pick up both the radio and in-car sounds. And then when you do the video afterwards and you go to edit, you can break those off into um, the different audio files so you can edit them both at the same time. That's that. The Baofeng radio I have one sitting inside, so I'll show you exactly how we program that. It's literally about a 30 second job, and then 30 seconds or three minutes, however slow you are. And then that's that, then we can mount it in the car. And there we go, new Baofeng radio. Now, this one here, I believe is the U5R. I think, yeah, U5R, I think. There's a couple of different versions of it. Um, you don't need really anything special. Just something that will be able to pick up the radio frequencies inside the car and transmit that onto your radio. Now, this will work for any... If you want to use this for off-roading, use this for motorsport, you want to use it for any type of communications where you may be bushwalking and have a UHF, things like that. Same thing, all this applies. I just use it for motorsports. Um, things like that. So, in this box, you get your little Balfang radio. It comes with a clip that I've already put on and a battery in the back. It actually comes with two batteries this kit. Get your handset, which we don't use. Second battery, a little earpiece, which you may use as well. Uh, you get a little lanyard for it. You get the charger, the aerial, and the charging cord. Now this one's beautiful. It comes with the Australian plug. Some come with a, a Chinese plug with the adapter, doesn't really matter, it still will work. So, how do we program that? It's very simple, we'll get to that now. Okay, you can see here, you'll need three main things to make this happen. One, you'll need a laptop, um, preferably something that is updated to the latest um, version of Windows. You can use it on Microsoft, that's fine. Um, I'm using Windows, works for me. You'll need your radio, okay, with the battery all set to go. And then the other thing you'll need is a programming cable. You'll see one end is a USB, the other end it fits into your um, radio, where you're normally plugging a headset or a handpiece. So, those are the three main things. The fourth thing you'll need, and I'll show you in a second, it is actually a free download. It is a program called Chirp. Um, you can get that free off the internet, um, and then once you open that up, that is where you do all your programming for this radio. Okay, first thing of our program that we need to do, we need to plug in our cable to our radio while it is still off. That is very important. It must be off while you plug this in, and then what, when you've plugged that in, you'll plug in the other side to your the USB port down the side of your computer, and then that will get us this whole thing started. Must take note of which USB port you're plugging into on your computer because that plays a part in the programming. Usually the program chirp will pick it up, make it nice and easy. But in any case, just have a look and sometimes they're labeled, you can see them on a computer um, and find out which one you're plugged into. Okay, we have our laptop open here and the program we are going to start with is the program chirp that we have just downloaded. So we will open chirp. 
Okay, and then from the top menu, you'll see radio. We click radio, download from radio, and we've got the channel that it is, or the, sorry, the port that it is plugged into is COM3. The vendor is Baofeng Radio, and the model is the UV5R, which is all correct. So we hit OK. Uh, that's all the steps we've done. So we hit OK, and that is now going to pull all the channels from the radio onto Chirp for us to then change. Um, and so it's pulling everything out that's already stored on there, ready for us to look at. And that's all there. That's all the 22 channels that are already on there. So how do we get the Australian 80 channels on there? Well, we have a file down here that I've already got, which is the Australian CB radios. So it's an Excel file and there are all the radios there. We don't need to cut and paste those. What we can do is get rid of that. Okay, move that down. We can go file, import from file, and we open that file up there. Import, pasted memories will overwrite 22 existing memories. We have our 22 channels already on the radio there. So we want to overwrite those, yes. And there are all our radio channels all the way down to 80 plus our 16 or so repeater channels that are listed. So the next thing we have to do is then go radio, upload to radio. Okay, we've still got the same port, still the same radio, hit OK. OK. And it is now going to upload all those channels that we have just done up onto our radio ready for us to use as an Australian radio. So for a $50 radio that you can pick up off eBay um, with usually free shipping, sometimes you can get them in a pack of two for $80. If you're able to get your hands on this, this program um, and these frequencies were literally, uh, I think $3 and the program is free to download. Okay, once you're done that, you turn your radio off. Okay, with our radio now on, the glare is a bit a bit funny there. We'll have a look. That's a little bit better. You can see we've still got our frequencies there, but if we scroll through these little toggle switches, do you see with the up and down? Five, six. That's channel 56. Five, seven. Five, seven. Five, eight. Okay, that's the only way you can get it. So once you figure out which channel you need to be on, you just do that. Um, and your radio is now set to Australian frequencies. It'll just run off the bottom numbers there. The top ones don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, it'll just run off the bottom frequencies. And you now have Five, nine, a radio six, zero. that works to Australian frequencies. And to show that, if I set this at channel 55, five, five, six, five, five. channel 55, I have a radio here that I use in the car sometimes or with my communications. Um, it's set to channel 55. Okay, it is now picking up on that radio signal. Same goes for if I was to use this one to go to that radio. Done. So, for a Cheap bargain radio, which I know some people actually use these for their radio communications at the track. You cannot beat this. Um, and to actually be able to program it for really, really, or really easily and simply, um, I don't think it's, I think it's a pretty good option if you want a budget set of radios. And for me, for using it for my recording my communications to my GoPro, it's fantastic. So now that we know how to program this and we know how it all works and how I record things to the GoPro, how do I edit it so I can then have vision of me on track and either cut out or separate both the audio files to make one louder or softer um, or cut some out of one file and not the other. So we'll look at that now. Okay, so to edit our video with our different audio tracks, we're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve um, it's the editing program like I use, like I've said before, it is super simple, it is free, um, and once you actually understand most of it, it's really, really powerful um, editing program. I'm going to go to an untitled project, um, 
just going to go straight into our editing area and open up and we'll go get our clip. So we'll go down to, I think, actually send pictures, videos, and I did. So I'll drag that into the media pool. Don't change the frame rate. We'll leave that as like that. And now we're going to actually pull that down into our timeline. Now, this track and this video, you'll see here, we have the actual video portion just here, and then we have the audio track underneath. And what we're gonna try and do is split that into two so we can separate the microphone and the sounds of the car, and then the audio from the UHF radio. So we're gonna create a new track, stereo. So all you're gonna do is right click down here, add track, stereo, it's track number two. Hit Alt on your keyboard, select the track, and then you're just gonna drag that down and double and duplicate that track. So now you have two tracks exactly the same there in stereo, but what we need to do is separate the two different forms of audio. So in the top one, we're gonna click the first track, go to Clip Attributes, go up to Audio, and then we want both of them to be channel one. Hit OK. Now that's actually put that into the UHF. The bottom one, we'll right click on that, hit Clip Attributes, go up there, and we wanna make them both channel two. Done. So now that is all just the car. So if we were to now play that, we would get parts of the car. So if I go to a part down here where it has um, looks like some audio there. Let's see what we say. Let's see what it says. All right, so it says these top seven are nose to tail all the way. So the audio from the UHF is now separate to the audio in the car. So what we can do, if I really wanted to get rid of any feedback that was in there, um, I can sit there and select that audio track. If that's just the portion of the UHF transmission that I want to put in, I can cut that there and then cut that. Let's call it, cut it just there. And what I can do is separate that. Okay, I can bring that audio down if I need to, bring that down. And now when I play this, I will have just the audio from the car and then that radio transmission. Let's see. Perfect. That's how I edit my in-car footage, just by separating those two tracks and creating two things. Now, if you were out and you were doing some off-roading, you may want to hear the sounds of the car. You might want to put in a little uh, lavalier microphone or some sort of little microphone that then you could pick up the sounds of the car and then also um, feed in your UHF radio into your GoPro so you can pick that up as well. It's really up to you. Um, but now that you've got those two tracks there, it makes it really easy to edit. So, now that we've got that figured out, let's have a, look, have a look how everything, it all goes together and all the parts actually connect together to create a, um, or to get the footage and the sound. So let's jump into a little animation. Okay, so here's a little animation I've just put together to make it kind of easy to understand how this all works. We start with our GoPro. It could be any action camera as long as you can plug in an external microphone. That gets plug a stereo breakout cable, then goes in to a left and a right. Either side, you can put a microphone in. Uh, this one, I've got it on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, the other side of the breakout cable goes to a 3.5 male-to-male adapter. That goes to a 3.5 millimeter female to 2.5 millimeter male adapter cable, which then plugs into our radio. Simple. All right, so. That is a very basic uh, process on how I get my UHF radio tra uh, transmissions from both pit wall and in my car onto my GoPro um, footage. Now, that may work for some people. There are other products out there that can do this 
you will pay a premium for them. But what they also do is that anytime you talk into your microphone uh, on track, so if for a racing purpose for what I use it for, anytime I talk into my microphone, that gets put onto the um, video footage as well. So I may not be transmitting on my radio, but if I talk into the microphone, that gets then put on there as well. So I didn't actually want that, so I had to come up with a different solution to get my radio uh, transmissions on there, and that's what I came up with. And it works really, really well. It's actually a whole lot cheaper than putting together a, or getting the other products from over in America or somewhere else, um, where you can feed it in just by plugging in a few cables um, and um, adding it. It's essentially a box that you add in line um, for your radio transmissions on track. This you can use for many different uh, many different things like going off-road. Uh, if you're out with friends and family talking on the radio, you can add that into your GoPro footage as well. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll try and link all the products that I use for this um, down below. Obviously, they will be Australian, so if you do want to do it and you're overseas, you may just have to do a little bit of research but all the stuff should be readily available for you to find and you can uh, add them, or put that package together uh, for you to use. So, uh, that's about it guys. That's a little video on how I get my stuff on my, my radios, um, communications on my GoPro and my footage in the race car. So, if you have any questions again, drop a comment. I'll uh, attempt to get to them. But until next time, I will see you later.